everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. I'm Brian Bazaar and I have a new video for you guys. Alright, so on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to prune your disk usage uh, using the Dapnote OS. Uh, so if you're running Dapnote OS um, and you're running Gath and you're starting to run into some issues where uh, you're running out of disk uh, space, uh, you can go ahead and just prune that down. Um, after doing some research, I found a really good article right here that I'll put a link in that lets you just prune um, the database and get your space back in order. Because I was thinking I was going to have to install um, a new SSD and then rebuild everything, and thank God I haven't had to do that. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. This is very easy to do. So, let's get started. So first thing we want to do is because we're going to be um, pruning the database, the database will be offline for a little bit. So you want to create a backup um, uh, within Fura or any other uh, Ethereum client that it will allow itself to connect to. So with that, you just want to go over to your packages, uh, click on Prism, Config, and then Show Advanced Editor. And then under Extra Ops here, this is where we're going to be putting our link. But anyways, uh, go ahead and just leave that page like that for now. And then let's run over to infura.io. Now, when you get there, you're just going to want to first create an account, just a free account. Then in the top left-hand side where it says Ethereum, you don't need to do Ethereum 2.0, just the Ethereum 1.0 at the top. And then you're just going to create a new project. It's really easy. And then whatever name you want to create, I already did mine here called Bizarre ETH Node. And then after you create the project, you'll just click on it like so. And then when you do, you'll go down to, or scroll over to settings. And then I'm going to blank this out, but you'll have your product ID and your endpoints right there. So you'll copy one of your endpoints, and then you'll scroll on back to DAP Node and just put that right in where it says uh, under the beacon chain extra ops. Now, you also need to add, it's not just uh, the link there, there'll be a section here, one second. Okay, so you, it says you wanna add this right here. And I'll put this in the comments, so don't worry. But it's just fall back with web provider equals and then the link. So you want to add that this portion first. Like that, right before your link. That's what it looked like uh, from what the guy said in the comment section. All right, so with that, you'll just go ahead and do that and then click on Update. So right after you're done, just go ahead and click Update, and now you have a backup. All right, so we're done with that, so let's go back to Packages. And then this time you're going to click on Geth, and then Config. Sorry, my system's running a little slow. And you're going to take this environment value right here under Extra Options and just take that and copy it and just stick it over in like a text file right here because you're going to be taking that away for a second and then putting it back. All right. Then what you want to do here is grab or just type in snapshot prune state just like it is like so and let me just do this here so you guys can see it snapshot prune state just how I did it here and you're gonna wanna put that in the same place that you uh, cut the text out that I just told you to copy and put in the text bar alright now before you do this make sure you go back to your dashboard and make sure that you have at least 25 gigabytes of free space um, from the article I was reading, if you don't have at least 25 gigs of free space, this is probably going to fail. So just make sure you have that. Um, I think there was another option if you didn't have that space. If you got less than 25 gigabytes free, you can have geth start over, stop geth, then do a sudo command or something like that, which I don't think we can do on the dap nodes, but you probably could just uh, delete and restart geth. It's going to take forever to resync, but you got to do what you got to do. You don't want it to... Um, to fill up. All right, so let's just go back. So if you do have the 25 gigs of free space, so 
sorry, my system is very, very slow right now. But uh, you get the point. So anyways, if you do have the 25 gigs of free space, just go ahead and go back uh, to the section that I just was. Uh, if this loads up, I'll show you. If not, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, you'll just go right back into Geth, then hit Config, um, and then put Snapshot Prune State, and then just go ahead and hit Update. Now that's where it's going to take about, it took me about four hours, it could take five hours just depending on your system and your configuration. And you'll see it in the dashboard. Uh, Geth will go offline and it'll start to prune the database. Slowly but surely the database will go down and down and down. And um, I was at 95%, so I think 850 gigs. And it got me down to um, just about 80% now. Now I have 530, which is perfect. And then you're just going to want to check, on, check in on this every so often. Um, so that's it. That's the video. Just wanted to make a quick video on how to prune uh, your database while using Geth to make sure your systems are in order. You don't want to get slashed or anything like that. And this is just for the people that are running DAP node um, um, using the Prism validators for the Ethereum 2.0. All right. Hope this helped. Leave your comments in the description. If you guys have any other ways you can do this, let me know. I'm pretty sure there's other cool ways to do this. But this saved me, and I'll put the link in the description. Thank goodness for uh, whoever wrote that article. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.